lesson of the day, we very carefully set the table without using magic. So that... Yay! Did you? How? When? What? What? I said no magic. You were supposed to do it by hook so I could work in a friendship lesson. Oh, I heard set the table and just kind of went for it. Well, if you hadn't used magic, you'd have heard me say, uh... This plate represents your head, this spoon is your heart, and the knives are sharp. Always be careful with knives. <sighs> the metaphors make more sense when you're actually setting the table. Should I change it back? I just want to make sure you're ready for this dinner. Princess Celestia will be joining us tomorrow night to see how the friendship lessons are going. If it's just you, me, and Princess Celestia, why are there four seats? Well, the whole point is for you to bring a new friend. That way the princess will see for herself just how far you've come. And how good a teacher you have. Well, I can't choose. I like all your friends. That's the best part. You have to make a new friend. New friends? Hey, maybe I'll just force friendships by magically enslaving the entire population of Coneyville. Starlight? Kidding. <laughs> My little pony, my little pony The friendliest place in Equestria. Shouldn't be hard. Need to make a new friend, huh? I know just the pony for you! Miss Starlight Glimmer, meet Mrs. Cake. How are you, dearie? Are you baking? Can I help? Wow, Mrs. Cake! Look what your new friend made you! Oh, new friend, I like the sound of it. <gasps> Howza, wowza! How are you trying to put me out of business with your fancy magic -a thingy? What's a cake? <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. In her defense, it is delicious. I think I have just the pony for you, Starlight. Me, Big Mac. Yep. He's not much of a talker. Nope. Oh, that's too bad. I love a good conversation. Yeah, you did something! Whoa! What's happening? I feel really weird. I'm talking so much, and I'm so articulate, enunciating with such precise pronunciation. <laughs> Annie Apple awoke and accidentally ate an auburn azalea. Ah! Make it stop! Uh, I can't be friends with some pony who doesn't talk. Uh. And I guess my first instinct shouldn't be to magically command ponies to act the way I want them to. Uh. All right, I'll change it back. The trick to finding a new friend is to render yourself radiant. First impressions count a great deal, you know. I'm glad you all got past my first impression. Well, every pony deserves a second chance. <gasps> now, I have a top-notch idea. I'm thinking pastel silk here and here with crinoline underneath. You really think a new outfit will help me meet ponies? Oh, with the right outfit, you can do anything, darling. When will it be ready? Three weeks. Dinner's tomorrow. Well, then, how about a hat from the <clears throat> clearance bin? <sighs> Maybe not. <laughs> no pony's gonna make friends with you because of your outfit. The only thing you want a new friend draped in is coolness. Like you? 
Yeah, but you already know me, so... <gasps> Big fire! <laughs> Sorry, who's that? Uh, only the Wonderboltiest pony in the Wonderbolt. Come on, I'll introduce you. <laughs> you coming or what? I guess my first question would be... What's a Wonderbolt? <gasps> You've never heard of the Wonderbolt? Where have you been? <laughs> Enslaving villages, I guess. Right. <laughs> You're adorable, but probably not what Twilight had in mind. <sighs> what is going on? This is Ponyville. If I can't make a friend here, there's got to be something wrong with me. <sighs> Okay, calm down. Nobody makes friends with a total stress case. Stop stressing. Stop stressing! Just what I needed. <sighs> Tell me about it. You ever have one of those days? For me, they're all one of those days. <laughs> I'm gonna start coming here every time I visit Ponyville. I'm not from here either. I've been trying to make friends, but it's not easy. They're not saying it, but I think every pony knows about my past. I may have been a tiny bit completely and utterly evil. Ponies judge me on my past, too. Finally, a pony I can relate to. Soup spoon, salad fork, pasta spoon, strawberry pick. I'm beginning to think that after friendship, the greatest magic of all is proper silverware placement. <laughs> Twilight, guess what? I made a new friend. That's fantastic news. She's great. Great. She's powerful. Powerful? She's hello. Princess. Trixie? You know each other? You could say that. We've had our differences. What matters is Twilight gave me a second chance, and I appreciate it. So, um, what brings you to Ponyville? The great powerful Trixie has come to perform a new stage show of grand illusion. I am calling it the humble and penitent Trixie's Equestrian Apology Tour. That's kind of a mouthful. It's a working title. Starlight? A moment. Over here. I know I said make friends with any pony, but, well, with Trixie's past and your past, I'm not so sure she's the best first friend. But whatever she did, you've forgiven her, right? Of course. It's just, she wasn't the nicest pony. Well, you did say any pony, and I just assumed that you'd trust me to make my own friends the way Princess Celestia trusted you. <sighs> You're right. I trust you. Just be back in time for the dinner. <gasps> Thanks, Twilight. You won't regret it. I hope not. <sighs> this magic show is gonna be the greatest thing Ponyville's ever seen. Every pony always says they'll give you a second chance, but deep down, they never forget. And that's what I'm worried about. <sighs> what is it? I heard what Twilight said about me, and she's right. I wasn't very nice. So I'd understand if you didn't want to be friends. Are you kidding? You're the first pony I've met who has any idea how I feel. Can you keep a secret? What are friends for? The things I've done, 
I did them because I was jealous of Twilight. She's just the best at everything, and I wanted to beat her at something. Your secret's safe with me. Thanks. Want to help me unpack my wagon? I spend a lot of time on the road with my wagon, so it might be a tad messy. Maybe I can help. I'm pretty good at organizing stuff. Magic props, brainwashed crowds. <laughs> Psst. 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 Shh. Uh, I'll catch up. I think there's something in my hoof. Sure, the wagon's right around the corner. So, how's it going with your new friend? Great. Thanks for asking in a completely not creepy way. Because, you know, if it isn't working out for any reason, I could introduce you to my friend here. Nice to meet you. No, oh, no. You can come out now. You like music, right? DJ Pwn 3'd be the perfect friend for tonight's incredibly important dinner with Celestia. You know, if you decide to make a last minute change. <laughs> So, back at your castle when you said, I trust you, you meant, I don't trust you. Who can really say? Who said what? I know I can't. Can you? Starlight, I'm just trying to look out for you. I appreciate it, but you're wrong about Trixie. She's just like me. We have a real connection. That's kind of what I'm afraid of. Oh, what about her? Please, Twilight. I know you're trying to help, but I need to make friends on my own if I'm going to become a better pony. But do you really think Trixie's the one to help you with that? Wow, Trixie was right. You're not really giving her a second chance. I wonder what that says about how you feel about me. Oh, now he'd be perfect. Ugh. Thinking. You said Twilight is better than you at everything, but that's not true. You're better at magic. Only when I'm wearing a soul-sucking evil amulet, so I don't think that counts. Funny story. Don't need to get into it. I meant stage magic. Well, of course. <laughs> Great. Yes. Powerful, obviously, but I'm not the best. As great and powerful as I am, there's one trick I've never been able to do. The Moonshot Manticore Mouth Dive! Only one magician has ever pulled it off. My hero, Houdini. You are supposed to blast yourself into the open mouth of a hungry manticore. After the manticore chews you up and swallows you, you magically step out of a box on the other side of the stage. Completely unharmed! That sounds very... Dangerous? I was gonna say cool! I knew I liked you for a reason. I don't know how he did it. If I tried it, I'd get chewed up and swallowed by that manticore. Not if you could use real magic. Obviously. Way to rub it in. No, I mean, I could help. You could start the trick, and right before you got chewed up, I could use magic to save you and make you appear in the black box. I guess that would work. But if you made one mistake, I'd be a goner. <laughs> when it comes to magic, I don't make mistakes. Maybe I could be your magic show helper pony. We call it assistant in the magician biz, and no ponies ever offered to help before. Well, I'd be honored. You may have just made my great and powerful magic show even better, which I didn't think was possible. We're gonna blow them away tonight. Oh, I can't. Tonight's this incredibly important dinner with Twilight. Oh. Can I vent for a minute? What are friends for? Even after Twilight says she trusts me, she clearly doesn't trust me enough to choose my own friends. Ugh, I guess you were right. No second chances. Huh. I wish I could say I was surprised. Well, lucky for Princess Twilight, I have my magic show tonight. If you have to go to the dinner, I completely understand. 
I just hope I find a way to survive the Moonshot Manticore mouth dive without my new assistant. Starlight Glimmer should be here any minute. Any minute now. <laughs> How about I introduce everyone? Our friendship lessons are going so well. She made three new friends. She has such great taste in friends. I don't know where she would have learned that. <laughs> Starlight Glimmer? I thought you said nose hair trimmers. What's going on? I'm hungry. And my nose is too hairy. You're so funny! If you'll excuse me, I'm gonna check the kitchen. Maybe she got lost amongst the, uh, artichokes! <laughs> Starlight? Has anyone seen Starlight Glimmer? I'm looking for her! Trixie! So this is the humble and penitent Trixie's equestrian apology tour? Ain't that a mouthful of molasses? It's a working title. <laughs> this is going to be the greatest night of my life. Excuse me, our lives. Oh, I'm so glad we're not at that boring dinner. Ahem. You just decided to skip our dinner without telling me? Are you aware that at this very moment, Princess Celestia is waiting for you at a table with exquisite silverware placement? Yes, but this is exactly why I didn't want you to make friends with Trixie. You still don't trust me. But guess what, princess? It doesn't matter if you want to give me a second chance or not. Starlight had to choose between you and me. And she chose me. Your pupil chose me. So, ah, I win. You win? That sounds like you just made friends with me to beat Twilight. Exactly. Wait, I mean, no. I got caught up in the moment. I like you. Beating Twilight is just a bonus. <gasps> oh, saying that didn't help, did it? I should have known. No pony else in Ponyville wanted to be my friend. Why would you? <sighs> Wait! It's not like that. I am your friend. <sighs> well, you won. I hope you're happy. Looks like the great and powerful Trixie is back to a solo show. Trixie? Which is exactly the way she likes it. Thank you, Princess Twilight, for getting rid of that annoying pony who wanted to be my first friend. I am not sad at all. I definitely don't feel like my heart is breaking into a million pieces. Come one, come all. Come and see the pathetic and friendless Trixie's way to go, dum-dum. You really messed it up this time. Repentance tour. Huh? It's a working title! Behold, your fears come true. A pony-eating manticore. <laughs> For tonight, the great and powerful Trixie will be performing the Moonshot Manticore Mouth Dive. Now, now, save your gasps for when I defy the beast's jaws of doom and appear inside that black box. I was supposed to perform this trick with my great and powerful assistant, who was also my great and powerful friend. Starlight, when I first came to Ponyville, Princess Celestia gave me room to make my own decisions and my own friends. I need to give you the same freedom. I shouldn't have tried to pick and choose your friends for you. Just like me, you have to make your own decisions and your own friends. But what if Trixie really was using me just to one-up you? From what I've seen, she's the real thing. But it's not my place to judge. It's all up to you. Starlight, if you're out there and you still want to be friends, 
Let's be great and powerful together. Please? My great and powerful assistant and best friend, Starlight Glimmer. <laughs> Trixie, what do you want? I was wrong. I'm sorry. And I have to hand it to you. I could never have pulled off a trick like that. Thank you, Princess. How do you get your hair to do that all the time? 